This tutorial is going to teach you how to use the screen capture tool in your Smartboard Notebook software. The screen capture tool allows you to take any image you find on the internet or that you have on your computer and export it into a new Smartboard Notebook file. And this will allow you to share these images with your class. Now to get started, you're going to go ahead and open up a new file in your notebook software. And on the top toolbar on the left, there is an icon that looks like a camera, and that represents the screen capture tool. In order to capture an image, you're going to left click that once, and up will pop the screen capture toolbar. Now you can drag this toolbar anywhere you want in your screen. So I'm going to drag it to the right here. And there are four different options with the screen capture tool. You can capture an image using the area capture tool, the full screen capture tool, the window capture tool, or the freehand capture tool. And I'm going to go ahead and show you an example of each of these. To start off, I'm going to minimize my notebook software by clicking on the yellow circle in the top left corner of your page. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up my web browser, in this case Mozilla Firefox. And I've already gone to four different web pages that have images I'd like to import. This first page is about Isaac Newton. And I'm going to go ahead and capture the top part of this website using the area capture tool. I'm going to left click on the area capture and I'm going to drag this cursor over to the top left corner of my image. Then I'm going to left click and hold and I'm going to drag down to the bottom right corner until the gray region surrounds the image I want to capture. I'm then going to let go of my click and that image will be captured and sent to my notebook software. Now I open up my file and there's my image. And these images can be edited in the same way that any other images have been edited in previous tutorials. I'm going to go ahead and minimize my notebook software again. And I'm going to go to the second web page, which is on a, a poem written by Shakespeare. In this case, I want to capture everything on my screen, the entire screen. So I'm going to use the full screen capture tool. I'm going to left click once on this tool and then it's going to capture everything I see in my screen right here and send it into my file. So if I click on my file, on my second page now, it has captured everything that was on my screen. Not only just the web page, but also my doc. And anything I could see in my screen, that's what's been captured. I'm going to go to my third web page now, which is on World War II. I'm going to show you how to use the window capture tool. I'm going to click on the window capture tool, and this camera is going to show up. And this camera will highlight in blue whatever it is that's going to be captured and sent to your document. In this case, right now, my only my capture toolbar is highlighted. But if I move my mouse cursor over to the web page, it highlights the entire page. But the great thing about this tool is you can capture what's on the web page without having to capture the bottom portion of my screen there, which is my doc. If I wanted to capture my doc, I could just move my mouse over to it and it would highlight just my doc. But I just want to capture the web page. So I'm going to go on the web page and I'm going to left click once. And I'm going to go into my file again. And now the World War II page is in my file, ready to be edited. Let's go to the final web page, which is on plant cells from Wikipedia. And I'm going to use the freehand capture tool to capture the image on the right. I'm going to click once, and you're going to see an, a cursor come up that's very similar to the area capture tool. And the only difference between the freehand capture tool and the area capture tool is that the freehand capture does not limit you to a rectangular region. You can cut an image out in any shape that you'd like. So you're going to find your starting point, and you're going to left click and hold, and then you're going to drag the cursor around the image. And it'll start to highlight in gray whatever's going to be captured. And once you get back to the original point, you go ahead and let go of the click. And now that image will be captured into your file. Let's take a look at it. Now there's my plant file, my plant cell. And so now we've imported four different images from four different websites using the four different options on the screen capture tool. And once again, these images can be edited 
just like any image from the gallery can be edited. And you were taught this in previous tutorials. So now you know how to use the screen capture tool. You should know how to use the area capture, the full screen capture, the window capture, and the freehand capture. Our next tutorial will teach you how to use the smart recorder, which will allow you to record anything you're doing on your computer and then show it to your class as a movie file.